Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching 46 Okanen Monogatari, the Shinkaron. And last time, Chapter 2 started moving a little bit slower than I thought it might, but we've got some points here. I've been doing some grinding, you can see I have most things at or close to 400. But uh, I'm going to try something that uh, I haven't done yet, and I'm going to dump all my points into Wisdom. Maybe that is, you know, a wise move, who could say? Yes, I want to evolve. We'll evolve into Anubisaurus. We're already at the penultimate branch of the chain here. Anubisaurus, what is that? This character was made specifically for this game and doesn't exist. But it's nimble. It's got that going for it. <laughs> well, uh, lead on, fake dinosaur. Let's see how we're uh, doing here. We got ten. We got ten leftover genes. It's a. Uh, it's just as quick on the uh, draw. Woohoo! Okay, yes, I'm doing much better against Diplocolis now. Okay, I still kind of feel like I need to run back to the geyser. Just kind of, I guess, force of habit. But, okay, so let's go ahead and, uh... Well, they all seem to be running away now. Diplocolis know what's up now, and they're not gonna... So it looks like once you get even slightly good, dinosaurs start, uh... Hey, there's plenty of food here. I guess I ate my fill, whatever that means. Does that mean I, uh... Does that mean I just healed in the middle of everything without a geyser or something? Well, now that I done went and got powerful enough to fight Diplocolis, you can't find them anymore. I feel a little bit ripped off. So let's just spend what I have in terms of Evo points. Let's put it into, uh... Let's put it into attack, because with wisdom combined with attack, if I can get a lot of desperate attacks, assuming that's what wisdom does, then I would like to see uh, just what the deal is here. Looks like this is the cave I might want to make my way to. Is this the cave of the Protophasma, or is this just some kind of cave of wisdom? Oh, it's a cave of currents. Okay, so I can get booted around pretty easily. It's... Kind of hard to tell where I'm going or what I'm doing. There we go, okay. What do these guys have to say? This is the Mesosaurus Cave. There's this rumor I've heard before. Supposedly, the ocean fluctuates in size depending on the time of day. Creating a sort of ocean pathway. Can you believe that? Well, I guess I'm forced to believe it. It's, it's just as crazy as anything else you hear about in this game. How can I get to the, uh, I know that. I am also searching for the Fly Revolution. That's what I would like to know about oh it's time for me to give up this means i must be having to fight this uh mesosaurus oh no it means i'm gonna have to there's a rock blocking the ocean pathway wow yes a rock i have certainly been stopped by rocks before but if i can fight diplocolises and make them run away from me hey a volcano erupted that's a lot of damage but it's also some free genes which i at this point, I feel inclined to spin jeans almost immediately and to dump them all into one heavy stat. Just like really pump up. In fact, if I could get a few more of those lucky events, that would be fantastic. So can I get through the ocean here? Do I have to wait for a certain time or do I have to just... Which, which, way, which way do I go to get through the ocean sphere? Um... I guess we'll have to make our way around and find a place that doesn't have any boundaries. Okay, it was a little bit hard to parse what was walkable and what wasn't, but it looks like I can go through this pathway here. Uh, so the rock that they're talking about is probably somewhere along this little uh, archipelago. I see yet another cave I can visit. Are we going to get to things I can actually maybe kill around here? An earthquake! It's huge! Uh, that's an Evo gene. That's a pad one. Living through an earthquake? That's a bad one. Oh yes, I see things kind of bopping through land toward me. What are they? It looks almost exactly like me. Is it an Anubis source? What is this plant? Can I fight the plant? I want to fight the plant if I can. Sounds like fun. But I also want to get to this cave that I saw up here. Maybe get to that without, uh, without any mess around first. Hey, there's a little pond here. You headed towards the valley, leading to the marshlands. The surroundings had a horrible stench like none you'd ever experienced. Sorry, that was me. I apologize. Okay, so there's something really up with this place, huh? 
Yeah, they're still healing geysers, so nah, I guess the water stinks, but uh, I kind of want to get to the cave and see what the cave of the cave of wonders has to say. This is a happy cave. I like happy caves with happy music. I feel like I'm not going to be uh, terribly threatened in here. As you approach the crack in the boulders, you appear voices coming from beyond. That thing isn't the flower of evolution, or like the flower of death. <laughs> Rack em. Yeah, okay. So that Venus flytrap thing I saw must have almost... That might have been really bad. Uh-oh. Oh, dang. They're mean to each other. Glad I'm not a K-Cops anymore. That carnivorous plant can't be the flower of evolution. What is the way of defeating it? There's something supposedly... Supposedly something in the marshlands it hates. Okay, well then I'm glad I visited the cave. We need to figure out what that thing is. There's a key in there. The flower of evolution wants a key to eat. <laughs> you meat-eating plant bastard. Well then how about some credit, eh? Alright, alright, alright. Sorry. Alright, it's time to roll out... Fight some K copses. All right, eavesdrop on the happy music conversation, and now I can't leave the cave because I can't navigate my way through the cracks with this horrible, awful, crazy movement. So have they rolled out, or they? I guess they were just headed toward the marshland. Well, why don't we go to the marshland? That seems like maybe a good use of our time. Okay, so there are K copses here. Do we have to fight them? Yep, it sure stinks. Yes, Mr. Sherman, everything stinks. They say carnivorous plants can't stand horrible smells, but I'll die before we defeat them at this rate. I do not want to leave the marshland. I want to be in the marshland. The game does not seem to understand that. Uh. <laughs> Ew, gross. Yeah, I've been there. Okay, I think that is a ramp right there. <laughs> I can walk up, my god. These controls are so finicky. Alright, so let's go up the... Yeah, I know, it's getting in your skin. You've said that eight million times now. We did just make this ramp. We may as well go. I'm glad to have benefited from your logistical experience. Hey, this one wants to fight. He's not interested in finding the key. He's... Okay, ouch. Okay. Well, good thing I have a lot of vitality. Uh, as long as... uh. Lucky attacks don't take hold. Stop recovering damage. And stop doing lucky attacks on me. Okay, I don't like your friend there. He hurts. He hurts my head. Alright, so... Alright. Okay, so K-Cops are running around. Uh, maybe a little something else. Okay, the ones up here just like fighting. And they like... Uh, getting really unlucky on me all right so yeah i should spend evo points whenever i can in this area uh can i go all the way up on wisdom uh we can go pretty high up on wisdom maybe maybe not all the way up uh what's the maximum threshold for this area let's go ahead and I think if I'm going to be taking a lot of unlucky attacks, I'm going to want to pour into Endurance. So, let's get that up for now. Just as high as we can get it. I've got one Evo Gene, but I like even numbers. So, I'm going to keep it there. Yes, I'm sure. Alright. No, no, trying to recover. Leave me alone, K-Cops. Well, okay, lucky attacks, unlucky attacks are only doing 46 now. You weren't hurt much at all. Is that the same as, like, not taking a dent? Alright, well, good thing there's a stream just outside here. I just have to hear about smells on skin and stuff and probably talk to people. This is... Okay, I will never be able to heal again because this sucks. Okay, if I kind of flick the buttons really quickly, I can usually, like, change direction really rapidly, and that's nice. Okay, don't come near me. I just want to... What are you? 
I think I'll go ahead and take a chance on fighting whatever that uh, thing that's the same color as the ground is. A Marinops. What does that do? About the same damage as a K-Cops. So it's being defensive, but it goes down more or less as easily as a K-Cops. Alright. So I have to navigate this uh, marshland where all these jerks are walking around. Stop doing that. Okay, good. I like not being hurt much at all. That's a... Oh, great. Stop healing. I hate the healing. It threw dirt in your face. You were blinded. Lowering your defenses. But now I have time to wipe all the dirt out. Okay, if I can just get to a... My life seems to have gone from just going from stream to stream. Okay, this one is sitting still. I bet I can talk to it. The smell is making him dizzy. He can't do it. Well, you know what? I never let a little something like smell stop me. In fact, I'm going to evolve a better nose. Gonna get up on, uh... Gonna get up on that, uh... Attack. I bet we can evolve if we go all in on attack right now. I'd like to evolve. We're evolving into Ariops now. Looks a little happier and is actually a real dinosaur. Length, 1.5 meters. Carnivore, adapted to living on land with its sturdy body and short legs. Inhabited swampy areas, crawling around in the mud. Well, then I'm used to stinky stuff. Living as I did from the Permian to the Triassic. And we've got a few leftover points. Let's just dump those into, uh, I don't know, Vitality. Uh, at least a few of them into Vitality. I'd like to go all out on Endurance if I can. Uh, take as few hits as possible. A K-Cops is probably an easier thing to fight now. Dead end. Okay, we're making our way through the marshlands. Just as the prophecy foretold. The one who could uh, withstand the stink will come in and he will save us all. So, up the ramp here. Getting kind of used to what I can walk on and what I can't. Uh, but I should probably be at least fighting a little. Our, okay, K-Cops are not making a dent now. So, unless they score an unlucky attack, I should probably be going really hard on these things now. Okay, I love, I love, love, love it. Okay, K-Cops are no longer a threat to me. The Keystone Cops, they were always kind of silly to begin with. Alright. Oh, there we go, an unlucky attack. Which does 43 times as much damage as making a dent. Alright, that's okay though. Now, I have a bad feeling about this. Why do I have a feeling if I go out to the left... That I'll accidentally leave and have to re-navigate this whole place all over again. Because this seems like the kind of game that would do that to me. I'm going to save real quick. Yeah, better save. Yes, it will absolutely it will absolutely let me leave this godforsaken place. How dare you, game? Have some boundaries. Good grief. Good thing I saved before I did that. So now we're just fighting lines of these things. And I'm getting in way more, getting in way more good stuff now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, max out attack, max out endurance. And I can go either wisdom or vitality. I'm going to go, I'm going to go hard in the paint on vitality. Wisdom has done well for us. We will evolve into Euroma Stega. I think that's a new one that we haven't even seen yet. Oh, he's an even chonkier boy. This character was made specifically for this game and doesn't exist. Attacked other animals by spitting stomach acid at them. Well, why don't we just make up fake history to go with our fake animals while we're at it? That's fantastic. Three hits is all it takes. But boy, these guys love to keep it coming. Alright, can I get... I'd like to see a... I'd like to see a healing geyser at some point. That would be fantastic. Gonna go along the southern border here. Alright. I'm kind of tired of fighting K-Cops at this point. I think I may be about to hit the ceiling on my... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and evolve again. We're back to Anubisaurus. Another fakie. Very good. 
All right, and we're going to dump the rest into Vitality. Nearly close to maxing that out as well. So I think we're, I think we're doing well if we are near the uh, peak of evolution. That kind of back in uh, back in chapter one, that kind of indicated that we were near the end of the chapter. All right. Yeah, at this point, I should start dumping into everything possible. And with that, we are basically done evolving, I think. Well, no, that's because I'm out of genes. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, wonderful. Okay, a geyser. Little, little happy pond here. Okay, Thug B has no nose. He can't smell anything. He has made it this far. Only the non smellinist can get... You made it to the Great Marshlands. The stench seems to be coming from here. <gasps> oh, crap. Anubisaurus apparently didn't evolve good traction. You're covered in mud and the terrible stench clings to you. Well, that's unfortunate, but... Now let's see. What does that mean for me? I'm covered in mud? What happened? Boy, I sure would like to know as well. So I made it all the way out here. Yeah, I, uh... I slipped in the marsh and I'm covered in mud. Got covered in a double dose of mud this time. So we're moving, we're moving along pretty nicely here. All right, so now I just have to find my way to the other end of the marsh. Oh crap, hey you. Okay, I can't really find anything else to do in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out and see if falling in the marsh and becoming a big stink monster didn't somehow give me the key to defeating this thing. The mysterious plant with tons of life. Don't come any closer. I'm not the flower of evolution. The flower of evolution is deeper in the forest. The mysterious plant withered and died due to the smell permeating your body. Buddy, take a number. It wouldn't be the first time. Well, that's it. That's all we had to do to kill this mysterious plant. I'm kind of glad I didn't try to take it on with my own bare, bare fisticuffs, but... So, with the plan out of the way, I wonder if we're not near the end of this chapter, but I'm not really going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and stop here and see what lies in wait for us next time.